When I was nine years old, I saw the first national tour of Bob Fosse's dancing. I remember that night so vividly because that's when I decided what I was going to do for the rest of my life. I had to be up there and do that. I didn't care whether I was front and center, on the side or in the background. I just knew that on the stage is where I needed to be. Now we've all heard the terms spear carrier or a piece of scenery or third dancing boy from the left. We remember when the cast list went up on the bulletin board and we were so disappointed because we only got chorus. People ask you, what do you do in the show? And you say, ah, I'm just in the ensemble. You know, a professional football player never says, I'm just defense. A fan of baseball would never say, yeah, he's only in the outfield. I think we need to change the narrative. The words just and only should never be put in front of the words ensemble because after all, they're the backbone of Broadway. Now, I still have the souvenir program from when I saw Bob Fosse's dancing and from that moment I spent the next 15 years working to get into the ensemble of a Broadway show. I then spent the next 15 years working to get out of the ensemble of a Broadway show. See I'm not talking about not living to your full potential and aiming for the spotlight or spot behind the table but that's a different talk. This is about celebrating the hardest working people on the boards, the people that do the heavy lifting with the least amount of credit. 71% of the earth is made up of water. Now the survival of the planet depends on that. About 71% of a Broadway musical is made up of people with no lines and no solos. And the survival of a Broadway musical, well now you can see where I'm going with this. You know the show must go on happens because of the ensemble. The star calls out sick. Where do you think her understudy comes from? Broadway's trying to put diversity front and center. Well, for the record, it's been in the top floor dressing room for decades. I've worked with some of the best in the business and they know the value of the ensemble and respect their contributions. But in my experience, all these greats came from the ensemble because that's the training ground for the future leaders of this business. There is an exuberant amount of talent in that group of people and if you want Broadway to be the best it can be, they need to be valued. Whether it's a stepping stone or a final destination, let's celebrate the cogs of the Great White Way because after all, they're Broadway's backbone.